day of plans on Carmen. Today is New Year's Eve and I am actually meeting up with some old friends that I traveled with in 2019. So we're all gonna meet here for a little reunion for New Year's Eve. So uh, we're gonna hit the beach and then we have reservations for a rooftop bar uh, for the countdown. So it's gonna be a fun day. I still have a lot of errands to run since we just got to Playa, so I need to go grab a SIM card. We did a little grocery run. Um, so I'm gonna get a bit situated, um, maybe get some new sandals because I didn't pack that many things. I don't know, we'll see how the day shakes out, but that's the plan for today. I'm so glad we have a washer and dryer so that we can be able to like wash everything on the go. Just kind of makes it easier. Oh, we washed your extra key. Remember that extra key from Montreal and we were like, what key is this? Yeah. It must have been in a pocket somewhere. No, I know, I got it. I don't know why, but... How do you turn it on? Don't look at my nails. Obviously, I still have old Christmas nails. Desperately need a manicure. Okay, that's jazz and... When I travel, I am the kind of person that wants to put everything away, like, immediately. I don't know why, it's a habit that I built. Um, I think because when I used to travel month to month, it was like, if you don't do it the first week, you're probably never going to do it. So I've like built the habit to make sure you do it quickly and stuff. So this is a handy backpack, which was inside of my gym bag. I picked up some groceries. We did some kitchen duty. I stopped to get a SIM card at the OXO. It's really easy to just grab them right there. And I prefer to do this actually because it's cheaper and you get stronger service because you're using Telcel, which is a network that they have right here in Playa del Carmen. Um, and now we're heading to the beach. Hi. Look who it is! Bourdain baby. <laughs> She's getting ready. This content. But like now everything now is it's fractured into a million different Now anywhere near one of those I We reserved a rooftop bar for New Year's Eve. And it kind of worked out because initially we were looking for a private rooftop, uh, but everyone was obviously charging so much money and we didn't really want to do anything like that. So we even were asking like all of our landlords or, you know, hotels, like where all of us are staying, if we could rent out the rooftop, everyone said no. So it was kind of a hassle, but we ended up finding this bar that lets us rent out the rooftop 
So I'm looking for an outfit now, but I think this is what I'm gonna be in this little triangle top from Zara. Um, because I actually wanted to buy something new, but all the malls are closed. So I have to go with something that I have and I think it's gonna be this. We'll see. Our last night in 2023 was so great. Just a, kind of a little private event full of people that I wanted to be close to. Came home, turned on some music, kind of danced around in the living room a little bit, and then we passed out. This is day one of 2024. We're finally home. It's been a wonderful time, but I am tired and I'm a little bit hungry. So I think I'm gonna do a really bad run to get a torta. It's not that late, but considering we've been moving around a lot, I haven't really got a lot of sleep lately. 12, so it should be too late for a torta, but I think I'm gonna end this night here and make some bad decisions and eat a torta.
us on adventure and travel and we have such a fun year planned coming up and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Just got home from a quick morning shopping trip. Um, just picked up a couple of things that we're gonna need while we're living here in Playa. So one is this new hat which you absolutely need to cover your face, girls, if you're gonna be here for a long time walking around. The sun is brutal. Uh, so I got this new beige cap, which I love, a little baseball cap. And then I upgraded my sandals. I had some old Burks that I had maybe for three years, and they're pretty good, but they're just a little bit worn out, so I just figured I'd get a little refresh. Um, and this is something that you really need, a good pair of walking shoes. So I'll probably be wearing these tennies a lot, just my New Balance running shoes, and some really comfortable sandals. So this will be my playa wardrobe while we're living here. Um, yeah, because we didn't pack very much, specifically so that we could come here and kind of uh, just upgrade a couple of items. So. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break from working because there's a networking event here called Lunch and Learn. And I'm trying to get a little more involved with uh, just networking with different communities here. So I think I'm going to head over there and I'll be back in about an hour and then finish up my work day. I like that, you know? So, and you don't have control over that. You know, so you're just trying to figure out. All right. So having to work through the flow of actually doing that has been a challenge. Um, how do we help each other? Who do I have in my network that I can refer you to, et cetera, et cetera? What shifted for me that made it a lot easier was when I, when I realized in, within the giving itself is, is what I want to get. Yes, exactly. And a lot of it works together. So like, for instance, um... All right, we got suntan, sunblock. And then maybe I should take my face sunblock as well. I already lathered up though. And I'm gonna be wearing a cap. So I think actually it will be up. And then I got this really cute blanket. It's like a blanket towel actually. So the front side looks like a blanket, but the inside is a towel. You can kind of see it like this. So this is cool. So I'll be putting this to use. Uh, and then David's packing up a little ice chest. Meal preps. I guess I'll just wait till you get home. Uh... Back from a beach day, uh, just changed real quick. Gonna go get ready for some dinner. By the way, I, I only have like six outfits, so if you guys see me in the same uniform over the next three months, just don't comment on it. So, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support and love that I'm getting from especially all my friends and family. Y'all have been watching me since 2019 on and off because my I was so sporadic with it but um, yeah I'm really excited about this new year and this new goal that I have to put out weekly videos um, and just kind of share my life with people because I feel like I do I am really happy with the lifestyle that I have and how I got here and I can't wait to like share that with everyone and anyone because I know there's so many people that feel like they're stuck living a life that they're not happy with uh, and I am here to show you that you can make a change as hard as it may seem uh, and as foreign as it may seem to you. Maybe you don't come from a family that, you know, chases dreams. Um, no shade on anyone, really. It's just the reality of what a lot of people live. So uh, I hope to inspire you to really go after the things that you want. I think that's the purpose of my message uh, that 
hopefully I'm going to relay through and through. But I'm going to end this vlog here and I'll pick it up uh, with the start of a fresh new week. I'll be jumping fully back into work, getting my routine down, mm -hmm. getting into the gym, a good, uh, you know, just good health habits. So I'll be sharing a lot of that with you. Um, yeah, I'm excited to take you along for the ride and thank you for watching again. We'll see you in the next video. If you're not already subscribed, please do. If you want to follow along on this journey and hit the notification bell so that you know when the next vlogs go up, I'm aiming for every Sunday. So just, you know, put that on your calendar. Have a good day. <laughs>